Richard is with us in Pennsylvania. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show, Richard. Hi. Thanks for taking my call. Sure. What's up? Um, just a question. Uh, an elderly gentleman who's a friend of the family uh, wants to actually give me his house um, that he's owned his whole life and he no longer lives in. Wow. Um, yeah, I, I'm kind of like, you know, really nervous about the whole thing. But um, the problem is I'm, I'm in baby step two and I have $15,000 in debt. Mm-hmm. Um, and it needs a lot of repairs. Mm. Is it habitable? Not at the time, no. Okay. So you'd have to do repairs in order to live in it? Yeah. Wow. What do you make? Uh, $32,000 a year. 33000 a year. Okay. Yeah. And what is this house he's giving you worth as is? Uh, maybe fifteen with the property, I'm going to guess. Okay. Um, and so it needs thirty, forty thousand dollars worth of work. Um, I don't really know. I know the roof's okay. It needs like a wall tore out and replaced. But um, well, why is and, like, it not habitable? What's wrong with it that won't allow you to live in it? Um, he hasn't been in it in eight years, and there was an animal inside, and it, it tore apart the all the carpeting, and um, there's feces uh, feces everywhere. And, Mm-hmm. That's it. Um, some mold, a little bit of mold issues in the attic. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and then the one wall had rotted out a little bit where the chimney leaked. Okay. All right. Um. What is his expectation uh, that you're going to do with the house if he gives it to you? Is he does he does he require that you fix it up and move in it? I think that's what he wants me to do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, what? Where? Where in Pennsylvania is this house? Uh, it's near Dubois. Mm-hmm. So a small town or what? Very small. Yeah, like maybe ten thousand people. Okay. In the area. Okay. Punxsutawneyville. It's close to that. Gotcha. <laughs> um, near the ground log. It's a. It sounds like a very nice idea. Um, doesn't sound like much of a house. Is that a mean thing to say? No, no, not at all. <laughs> okay. I mean, even fixed up, this is not exactly a palace. No. Is the neighborhood bad, or is it just rural? Uh, it's rural, yeah. Okay. It's it's nice neighborhood, I mean. Okay. All right. Huh. I just don't, I don't like crazy, because I'm, like, I'm going crazy. I'm like, I don't know, because I'm in debt. It's not, mm-hmm. you know, I don't really have the money to put into it. Mm-hmm. But I also don't have a house. I mean, I'm currently I'm just uh, renting. Yeah. What if you told him you could take it, but you can't work on it until you get out of debt, and it just sits um, there? It just sits there. Yeah, I, I guess I could do that. <laughs> it's been sitting there for a while. We could do a little better job of boarding it up and keep the keep the critters out of it, right? But um, yeah. And let's just board it up real tight and sit on it until um, uh, until you get out of debt and are able to save some money to begin to work on it. Right. Then you could work an extra job and, you know, clear up your debt and then work an extra job and pile up some money to do the renovation. If it was completely renovated and you were debt-free, is this where you'd want to live? Um, I don't honestly know. <laughs> okay. I, uh, yeah, I actually have, I don't know if I even want to, live in the state forever so yeah well i don't know that you have to stay forever forever is a long time but i'm just saying for the next three years or five years is this where you'd want to live i could for three years definitely i mean all right because i i I think i think that i think what you might do is sit down and just have a discussion with him just go there's a lot of work to be done as you know it's all the pieces it's a wonderful gift i don't want to seem ungrateful because i'm not i'm very grateful um there's two things i need to have your um your blessing on one is is that i'm not going to do the work for a while and two is that after i do the work and move in it i may sell it then after that and i want that i want you to be okay with that and if he's okay with both of those things then that could be your plan that you you know don't do anything to it now say get out of debt save up the money fix it up move in it live in it a year or two and then sell it Okay. Because you'd make, you know, you might make fifty grand doing that, right? Yeah. 
I mean, if you fixed it yeah, up, you might I'm be able to sell it. I'm not a handyman myself. But. <laughs> well, I mean, my point is, though, that, you know, you spend the money on it and, and you pay cash for all the yeah. repairs and gradually, right? And you and you fix the thing up and doll it up. Even if you have someone do the work, that's fine. And then put it on the market and sell it a year or two later. And, you know, get a little yeah. get a little living time out of it. Um, and, it, you know, it's kind of a side project for you to make some money on. That could work yeah. out fine for you. That'd be an okay way to go at the thing. Um, or just saying, you know, it, it's a wonderful offering. Thank you. But I really i am not in a position to take advantage of it right now because I'm in debt and I don't have the money to fix it up. And I'm sorry, I, I, I can't take it. And just turn, it, turn down the gift. That's the other option. Um, either one's okay. There's nothing wrong with either one. Um, it, it's not like somebody's giving you a $200,000 house here. I mean, he's giving you a shanty. Um, and so it, it's just got to be, you know, <laughs> anywhere in America today that you can get a house for $15,000, we're calling that not much of a house, okay? So it's okay, though. It could be fixed up, and it could be fine, and I'm not being sno snobby about it. It's just a matter of, you know, just looking at what we're dealing with. 